Well, well, well. If it isn't the opening of Ocarina of Time. It is me. I'm wearing my Mob Psycho 100 shirt today. Uh, this is a mod of the Master Quest version. I'm not exactly why uh, sure why it's the Master Quest version, but who gives a shit? All right, it's Link going to Big Boo's haunt. All right, that's all that really matters. So, let's see. It's been a long time since we've done Mario Zelda crossover. I usually like to stream these games separate. I play Zelda games, I play Mario games, but fuck it, it's Sunday. Let's just mishmash them together. It's like those people that like breed dogs just to see what kind of fucked up shit like comes out. Like this one guy who bred like um, this chihuahua and a husky and it made like this fucked up thing. Yo, thanks for the sub, dude. 14 months. Thank you so much, Docs P. Just in time. Just in time for this Mario Zelda crossover event of the century. What's up, Epic Man? Welcome to Sunday Stream, dude. You know the rules. Fan art contest at the two-hour mark, but it's Sunday time. Thanks for the sub. I'm uh, hard at work on new emotes. I'm working on some new emotes. Uh, hopefully ready by the end of this week. So, Okie dokie. All right, now, as you guys can see, I was messing around with some files because uh, I don't play the things... Um, off stream, this is going to be my blind reaction, but just so I don't look like a douchebag, I wanted to make sure that it worked. So I made a test profile. First one we'll talk about later, but the second one uh, was just a test to make sure that the game ran, and then I did it. So we're just going to erase that, and we're going to be starting. So as you can see, there was no progress made. I just made a file uh, before I went live to make sure that this actually worked and didn't crash my computer so that we weren't all excited for nothing. So, <laughs> all right, I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Like I said, I saw the first area and I was already like um, a little confused. So you'll see what I mean right now. So, as any Zelda fan will tell you, if you name Link anything other than Link, then you are probably a disgusting uh, piece of shit and you should be executed for your crimes. So we're gonna name him Link, obviously. Ben, I'm not naming him Ben Drown, dude. How about you name him Bend Over? Because that's what your fucking daddy does. I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, shh. Start the game. So this is all I saw. This is all I saw, and as you can tell, I was a little bit confused. Uh, because this is definitely not Big Boo's Haunt. But I'm also confused because Link is a grown-ass man inside of his kid's house. So, uh, what's weirder yet is when I pause the game, it does lag a little bit. Um, but we have, like, a bunch of random weird shit. Like, okay, this, 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 and then, like, a couple songs. Like, it's very strange. Like, I don't know. So, I hope that this works properly. <laughs> But I guess we're going to might as well equip the ocarina, the bow, and frick it, the hook shot. Alright, from this point on, it's all blind, so let's see what's going on. This is... Oh! This is the courtyard! This is Peach's castle, the, uh, the fountain! Oh, shit, okay. Alright, well, I'm already impressed. Peach's castle... Oh, is that a secret already? Oh, shit. Oh, so what's this guard doing? Dude, Peach's Castle got some new guards. Fuck the toads, right? Can I talk to this guy? This is already pretty cool. Uh, but I don't think I can talk to him. Alright, well, uh... They gave you all that how rude. <laughs> That's part of the fun in finding it. I don't know, okay? I just, I didn't know this would freaking run. Peach's Castle kind of looks cool with the uh, ocarina textures. This area does look cool. Now, um... They should have replaced the guards with toads. I don't know. I kind of like it. And that probably would have been a lot of work on their part. But, um... Here's a fun fact that not everybody knows. A lot of Mario and Zelda fans already know this. It's like one of the more obvious or more well-known pieces of trivia. But, uh... Did you guys know that uh, Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time actually run on the same engine? It's just that Ocarina of Time was heavily modified version of Mario 64's engine. But fundamentally, based on the uh, code and the physics... They are, uh, uh, indeed, running on the exact same engine. Well, this is already, uh... Exciting. I can't wait till we actually get to Big Boo's Haunt, dude. Are they... But that makes me wonder if there's gonna be Boo's or Stalfos or how that's gonna be. Oh, shit! Oh, what are we gonna need the Zora Tunic for? What? I'll wait to equip it, but we'll equip it later. That's interesting shit. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. How do we get to, um... How do we get to Big Boo's Haunt when there's no booze? 
That's the question. Yeah, you're right. Basement of Big Boo's Haunted has the water. Oh, yeah, because you have to swim and shit. Well, wait a second, though. I'm already confused. How the fuck do we get to Big Boo's Haunted? Because usually you have to kill the boo and then jump in his like little uh, dollhouse and play with his kids. Playing, like, pushes and shit. This is making me really want to play Ocarina of Time, just like normal. I kind of just want to do... Whoa, what the fuck is this? Is that a boo? Wait, what? I, did I, am I going crazy or did you guys see like a floating... There, this thing. It looks like a floating nose. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What? Alright, hold up. That was fake. Oh. Whoa. This has got to be it, right? Link doesn't want to go. Link's like, I hit, hit, I hit, hit. He doesn't want to go. Go get in there, Link, you piece of shit. Oh, shit. They, they made this look so good. There's the shack. Oh, oh, this is an actual fucking Zelda map. All right, well, never mind. This is not cringe at all. This is this is actually Big Boo's Haunt in Ocarina of Time. Never mind. Okay, I thought this was maybe going to be some funny cringe. Uh, oh, no, they're actually dead ass, dead ass having us do a fucking dungeon. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I should have known that the boos would be Pose instead. Do we have to collect them? I'm guessing we probably have to collect them or some shit, right? As somebody who plays way too much Mario 64 and way too much Ocarina of Time, you can't even imagine how excited I am to play this right now. Um, your mom is able to play Majora's Mask. Nice! That's cool. That's cool. This could actually be a Zelda dungeon. Yeah, you're right. Do I have a bottle? I do, I think. Yeah. I do. Um, remember the last time we played uh, one of these? Uh, we did Hazy Maze Cave. We did Hazy Maze Cave as a, uh, as Link. Okay. The door looks a little crusty, but whatever. Oh, shit. Hey, thank you for the follow, Homeless Doge. It actually says Big Boo's Haunt. That was cool. Was that a re fucking dead dude? Oh shit, this is not a happy place. It actually said Big Boo's Haunt. Why are they here? Well, as any Zelda fan will tell you, there's one there's one easy way to dispatch of these guys. Uh is this do we not have Sun Song, bro? Oh shit, hold up. We might not we might not have Sun Song unlocked. Oh fuck. No! No! Uh, why is the A button green? What kind of fucked up world are we living in where the A button's green? Yo, Ludwig! Thank you so much for the five gifted! Holy shit! Dude, thank you so much! Wow, where this Sunday stream's popping off. We just started. Thank you so much for the five fucking gifted subs. I gotta update this shit. Can we get some side on flex for that? Can we get some uh, Prince side on flex? Damn, dude. Okay, I see you. Oh, Hummus, you're right. This is running off the Master Quest version, which was a GameCube thing. So that's why. On the GameCube A button was green. You figured it out, dude. You're smarter than me. You're right, because it's Master Quest. So the A button was green on the GameCube controller. That is actually makes so much sense. Well, our sub counter is not updating, but uh, once it updates, I'll, I'll fix it. Thank you so much, though. Zach made the big time. Well, what can I say? Keep playing Mario and Zelda. Who knew? Chat, years and years of me playing Mario and Zelda separate. Who knew I just had to combine them together? I didn't even make this. I'm just playing the damn thing. This was originally made by the Gale95, so you should, you should thank them for making this shit. I will link their channel uh, at the end. I'm playing this on a completely real Nintendo 64. Uh, we don't have the Sun Song, so I gotta beat these guys legitimately. Oh, fuck, Link's gonna get assaulted. Bitch. 
No, please, hey ho, hey, hey. Come on. Got his ass, bro. Get him, get him, get his ass, get his ass. Stop it, he's gonna touch you, Link. It's not gonna be happy. He's not a very pretty man. Bitch. There's a master, master quest ROM for the N64. The A button's still green. Well, then, never mind. A real N64 would never look this high quality. Not with that attitude. I don't think you can do... No, you can't do shit. It's been a while since I played Ocarina, guys. I've been too busy playing Skyward Sword and getting pissed off. But I'm actually excited. It Maybe it's just because like I've been having a lot of good days. Like, my health has been really good. Because my health was shit for a while. Um, And the fact that I could do long-ass streams... Like, I'm back better than ever now. Like, even before I had to deal with my esophagitis... I was never pulling out six-hour streams, like, weekly. Five, six hours, four hours, you know, stuff like that. I was doing two, three, two, three. Uh, so, we're, we're back. And I'm excited as shit, and I'm actually super excited to play Skyward Sword tomorrow. So, tomorrow I'm streaming some Skyward Sword and maybe WarioWare again. And, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know I was a little bit down in the dumps last week, but now I'm like, yeah, let's go. Skyward Sword, next dungeon, Beatrice, all that shit. I don't know if I actually have to kill... What is this room, by the way? Why do I not write... Oh, this is the Falling Bridge. You guys hear this music? What the fuck is this music? This is not original Ocarina of Time music. This sounds really cool, though. It's Big Boo's Haunt, but Ocarina remixed. This sounds really cool. It's like... Big Boo's Haunt and the Shadow Temple fused. I'm gonna die fuck up something that he's like stuck in here now. Yeah, the Ocarina of Time sound font makes it sound like it's from uh, the Shadow Temple. Okay, the bridge doesn't fall, so that's good. What do you guys think would happen if we fell down in the basement, though? I'm gonna make a save. You guys want me to try it out? I'm making a save state. What do you guys think happens when we drop down there? Do you think we actually drop all the way to the, uh, to the merry-go-round area? You think I die? We'll try it out. Fuck it. Yeah, this, this, this is worth it for the music. Let's go check it out. Fuck it. That was the longest fall ever, dude. Yo, what's up, Harper? Welcome to Sunday Stream, dude. We're playing Link Goes to Big Boo's Haunt. Where does this bitch go? He keeps going in the walls and shit. I don't know if I actually have to kill all the ghosts. Because there's like keys and stuff. So we'll see. If I have to kill all the ghosts, I'll come back. But right now. And thank you again, Ludwig, for the big five gifted subs. That is no small feat, dude. I, I insanely appreciate that. Oh, shit. A like-like in this room? Is it funny that like all... Okay, never mind. The like like just killed himself. Um, is it funny that I can like recognize these places, but they seem so like unfamiliar at the same time? I don't know what that did. It looked like LinkedIn have eyes. Is it creepy pasta? You got eyes in my vision. It probably unlocked a door out here. Right. I don't think this door was unlocked before. <laughs> Jeez, you're back. Okay, hey, buddy. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give me some. No, 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 no. What the fuck, dude? Well, Corporeal? Um, well, my game crashed, by the way. Uh, I guess if you die, the game crashes, so... Let's uh, reset this really quick. Um, so just don't die, I guess. Uh, yeah, when I I will eventually play it. So don't give me too many spoilers because I still want to play it. But uh, I am excited. All right, I made a save though, so we're good. I didn't lose any progress. Um, the README file says that the game can crash uh, during deaths. So I did make save states just in case. It's Sunday stream. We gotta keep things moving. We got a lot to do tonight. All 
I wonder if he did the second floor too. Oh, what is this room? Oh, this is the piano room! That's dark as shit in here, dude. Anybody give Link a lantern or something, bro? <gasps> this is so cool because I'm picking up on all these little Easter eggs because... See the switch? That is where a red coin would be in the, in the main game. So, like, I knew to kind of look there. Not that it was hidden or anything. But this switch is exactly where you would find a red coin if you played Mario 64. So that's uh, just a cool little uh, Easter egg. Oh! <gasps> Look, it's the- instead of the boo picture, it's the creepy picture! I always thought that this was like the scariest image. In the 3DS remake, they made it look less scary. This image always haunted my, like, nightmares, dude. And it always looked like a person going like this, like with their hands on their, like, chin, like, smiling. I always thought that, uh, this was scary- wait, what? What are those sounds? I don't- I don't know how they would do the flying books. No, there's no flying books. What the fuck is that, though? Uh, oh, no, they kind of not did, but I didn't really see him. The Deku Baba? I'm not going to tell the story that I always tell when I get a Deku nut. But if you guys have already known it, then there you go. But if you've never heard it, then you're out of luck. I'm not saying it anymore. You guys made fun of me too many times. Zero from Kirby? Who the hell's Zero? Kirby. Whoa! What? Yo! Is that the books that have flying pots? What the fuck? There's something behind here. Dude! Quit making the pots fucking float! There we go. It's blocked it. So I guess they did kind of do the flying books, except they just used the flying pots. Keeping me on my toes. I do wish it was a tiny bit brighter, and of course it spawns me like right outside by this freaking guy. Little bitch. Wasn't there another locked door? Shit. Chet, I'm kind of confused. There's two locked doors. Should I do the one in here? But there's also the shed outside. Well, I made a save state, so we're, we're fine. I made a save state, but it's just like... There's also the locked shed out in the front, which would lead to the merry-go-round, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll just go in here first, and then kind of take it from there. Metal Mario plush made with steel wind. Shut up! Um, it wouldn't be a plush then, would it? Well, never mind. I guess we just got another key. It would just be a Metal Mario freaking statue. Paperweight. up here. Do we have the lens of truth? Because I feel like we need the lens of truth for this shit. Because I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff we just can't see. Zelda X Undertale. Yo, it's up, Tailspin. This concept is sick. I agree. I absolutely agree. Um... And, uh, yeah, welcome to Sunday Stream. We're kicking things off with Mario Zelda Crossover. This is Link in Big Boo's Haunt, and I love the music, so I guess we'll go out to the shed then. These guys just keep respawning! Fuck. Actually, Depri, uh, that already exists, kind of. Somebody modded, uh, Sans into Breath of the Wild, so that kind of does exist, but... My computer can't handle Wii U emulator, uh, but I do plan to do a PC upgrade next year. Hopefully by summer of next year, I can uh, do a PC upgrade and we can do more crazy stuff, so. Right. There should be a back door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need a bomb. Interesting. Okay. I wonder how long this is. Oh, well, never mind. I thought we were going to have to get, like, a bomb bag, but we just got to throw this shit. Dude, I'm a fucking trick shot god. Look at that. Okay, well, Breath of the Wild is a Switch game, but there's no Switch emulator. Um, the only way you can play Breath of the Wild on PC is because of Wii U emulator. And I can't run a Wii U emulator. Oh. oh. He did say to save before talking to this guy. He's like, if there's a business scrub, make sure you save before talking to him, so I'm kind of curious. 
All right, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. Nah, dude. What, what do I look like? A chump? We're doing three heart challenge. Piece of heart? Get fucked. Yikes! Nah, hell no. We're doing three heart challenge. Oh, I didn't know that, Rainbow Kappa. Pop watched our stream while he was driving. He ran over seven kids. Uh, is it just me or is it way darker outside? Maybe this is what he was talking about. Whoa! Dude, why does Link look like this? What the fuck? Did, did, did something get fucked up? It did not look like this before. I'm gonna go back in the mansion and then come out and hopefully, uh... Maybe talking to that guy is a bad idea. Hold up. Let's see if we can reset this. Maybe talking to that business scrub is, is a bad idea. Okay. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, the game crashed, so... Okay, fuck him. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. It still looks like it's fucked up, though. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. What? That's not what I thought was going to happen. Alright, right, duly noted chat. Never talk to the business scrub. Do we at least have the keys? I hope to God we do. I don't think so. Fuck. Alright, well, we can speedrun this. We're gonna it. Ganon and Mario lore? Well, technically, yes, because of Smash Bros. So. Whatever, this takes like five seconds. We're gonna do a speedrun. No, I knew Link had blue eyes, but, like, they looked, like, way more bright than they should have. Right, fuck this. This reminds me of that other Ocarina of Time hack that we played that was, it was like, jeez Louise, I shouldn't have put my controller down for a sip of drink when I was playing this shit. Um, remember the one where, like, he looked like, it was like Devil May Cry style? Do you guys remember that one? I've done the Milky Archives. All right, we're back. Let me get the fuck out of here. Nope, 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 nope. We're out of here. All right. Let's progress into the shed. Now, everything looks more normal now. It was like way... Like, Link, his eyes are still kind of creepy, but it, it looked off. This is more normal. No! Why does this crash my game? No! Say it ain't so, dude. Oh, what the fuck? That's not good. Oh, this is not good. Well, I knew it couldn't be perfect. But maybe... Can we fucking move? I just spit on my computer. I hope that everything's okay. Please. Damn. All right. Uh, I only have one more idea. I don't know why it does that. <sighs> okay. Um, maybe because this happens with some mods. Um, Maybe doing save states at all just kind of messes with shit, so I'm just going to try to do it without it. So we're just going to have to be really hardcore and definitely not talk to... I think talking to that Deku scrub was a bad idea. I had, He gave me bad vibes looking at him. He gave me bad freaking vibes looking at him the whole time. Alright, this should be good, right? Team Fortress too heavy. Alright. We're going back to speedrunning. If the door doesn't work, then that will be sad. Come on, Link. You gotta go back. No dicking around now. Right. Luckily, it's not very long. I was kind of... I was eyeballing and oogling everything, but... I don't know what that other room did, though, because... Um... I thought... Oh, oh. Well, I just figured it out. That switch... 
uh, makes that block go away. Never mind, everything makes sense now. Can we fucking go, dude? I hate these guys in this game. A magic jar. Huh? Was that always locked like that? Chat, I'm so fucking confused. What? Why was- was that door always locked? How did I have a key for that? I was able to get through this before. How the fuck am I stuck now? Shit is weird. Holy fuck. I do have to equip my stuff back, though. How was that? What did I do differently? I'm so confused. Fuck these guys. There's shit that wasn't here before, chat. What's going on? What is happening? That block wasn't there before. Doors that were locked were not locked before. What the fuck is happening? Why is it different now? Am I going crazy? That, that, first off, that one door was not locked and that block was not there. This was meant to happen? I don't think this is supposed to- This is not like Mario 64, guys. Not everything's like a, a weird Undertale creepy pasta mess with your mind shit. Maybe. I, I, I think this is supposed to be just like serious. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I know for a fact that door was not locked before. You're thinking that the crashes were intentional? I don't think so, dude, because I selected a brand new file. Like, that would have been too random. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Can you fuck off, please? Right. We're gonna get to the bottom of this shit. None of the pose gave me a key, did they? Shoot the eye. Well, yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. There's that eyeball in a different room. It's it's in this room coming up right here. But I had to I had to get the key to because unlock this. But I don't remember that door ever being locked before. I remember the like like killing himself. I don't remember what this does. Like what did that do? What I don't understand. Can I just save like in game without like using save states? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, using save states for a lot of things makes them crash. So I probably should not have done that. I should have just saved normally. But no, this is the thing though. I already moved the block. I could move the block with my own hands. I don't know what that eyeball switch does, guys. Oh, I didn't even see that shit. That's a hookshot target. Do you guys understand what I'm saying, though? I did everything how I did it, but I no longer have a key for that room like I did before. So something fucked up happened. But anyways, uh, here's a hookshot thing, so we're making progress. <laughs> so let's go. There's a whole second floor to this, including the bookshelf. I did not even see this the last time because it's so dark in here. There are so many locked doors. What the- where the fuck? Oh, this is that- this is the area where the other rooms are up there. And to get through the fire, you have to go through the haunted- <gasps> Whoa! Look at- they have the haunted fucking library! They have scatullas! Oh, wow, that's way creepier in Zelda than it is in Mario. It's like R. Kelly house, bro. Damn, dude, it's even scarier than I remember. Well, there better be another unlocked door because... I'm a little bit, uh, SOL right now. I'm missing a key, and... 
How are these guys screaming at me from the fucking first floor? Okay, I'm kind of... Never mind, there's an unlocked door. I was about to freak out. Okay, there better be a key in here or else I'm triple fuck. Cool, man! Well, bitch. Alright. Where's my Deku stick? Did I not pick it up? Whatever, I actually don't need one because I'm a fucking genius. Ready? You don't need Deku sticks when you're a fucking professional. Oh, I'm sorry, Reb. Well, there's always the Milky Archives, and there's always, like, darker than all... Gibdos, dude, really? There's gotta be Gibdos in here? Oh, man. They better give me a key or something. Get the fuck out of town. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's... Straight, come on, please turn the fuck around. He's not that scary, bro. Get the fuck... The, what are you doing, Squinton? Oh my god, dude, just kill his ass. Dude, he's gonna kill you? I fucking tried to tell you and he didn't listen. How come nobody drops hearts around here? They just drop fucking potions. I'm getting behind his ass. No, no, don't you fucking turn around. Link, whip his ass, whip his ass. I'm not used to playing this with a PlayStation 4 controller, guys. Alright. Key. That better be a key and then I can progress. Alright, sweet. So, maybe the game was crashing. Uh, first off, I don't even know, because there, there's a bunch of weird shit that was not happening, right? Um, but maybe the game was crashing because we, like, sequence broke on accident? Spam stunt, shut up! I'm, I'm gonna do this door first. This, this is like, this feels like a, an actual dungeon. Like, this could have been a replacement for, like, the well. If, uh, not a replacement for the Shadow Temple, because the Shadow Temple is just too good. <gasps> Ooh, hook shot up there. Um, like, if this was, like, a mini dungeon where you got, like, the Lens of Truth, I could see it. Damn, okay. Yeah, that's- and I know that that's gonna be a thing eventually, Dally, because that door was locked. They put that shed in there. Yeah, that's where we're going right now, is the top of the mansion. <gasps> no, I'm stuck now! Navi, what? Dude, I should have gone- I should have gone in the other room, because I used up my last key, but now what? I'm fucked, right? See? Because this door is locked. Dude, what? There's no key in here. I should have used the key on the other fucking uh, area. How the fuck? Because that switch probably opens up the bars. I'm so confused. Because now I, there's nowhere I can... Oh, wait, hold up. I'm, I might be crying for no reason, dude. I keep complaining, and there's always more places to go. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Don't don't mind me, chat. Also, there's a whole just a dead-ass another switch up here. What happened? Oh. It's it's making the fire go away. Hold up. I got to get rid of these Catullas first. Okay, well, sorry, chat. I'm used to playing SM64 hacks where, like, the game can just physically be impossible and nobody gives a fuck. So I'm not used to, like... I forgot that these people are probably actually trying to, like, playtest their shit. My bad. I forgot that Zelda fans actually, like, playtest their fucking games. <laughs> Instead of, like, how about we throw in a boss fight where he's, like, frame-perfect kills you and then it's just impossible. Alright, now I just gotta run to the other end before the fire. They did a really good job translating some of these Mario puzzles into Zelda puzzles. Hurry up. Hurry up, dickhead! He's going so slow! Of course. Fuck! <laughs> the fire's gonna come and he's gonna burn his ass, dude! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way, Skatola. I was like an inch away from death. Get out of here, dude! This better be another key so we can progress. Let's go! 
Um, they're still very infrequent, um, because it's just way harder to mob this game. Mario 64, they literally have decomp, and if you don't know what decomp is, it means that they've decompiled the code, so they have the source code of Mario 64, which makes modding that game so easy. So all modders have to do is they just have source code, and then they modify it. With games, with all other video games and stuff like Ocarina of Time, uh, they need to do what is uh, essentially assembly code, which they need to code over the original game every single small thing they want to do. That's why Mario 64 mods, there's like millions every month, because with, with decomp, um, it makes it so much easier. Like, it skips ahead so much shit and makes everything so much more streamlined for modders. Where games like Ocarina, Majora, most, most games, uh, it takes so much more work and headache to get what you want to happen, happen. Um, no, I did that already. Shooting the, uh, eyeball made the fire go away. And that's how we were able to run. Yes, but the same engine versus the same source code is very different. The source code is literally the DNA of a game. Source code is every texture, command, uh, AI, uh, music file, um, every single thing. Like how puzzles work, how the physics work. Where an engine is just the building blocks to do something. What is this? Hold the fuck up! I'm trying to look at the green glowing shit. Dude, these re-deads though are, uh... I'm, I'm in, like, re-dead spam hell, dude. Holy fuck, these guys are so annoying. Alright, what is over there? Can I fucking... Oh, it's a switch. Shut up. It's a diamond switch. Oh, get the fuck out of my way. Let me shoot this damn thing. <gasps> oh, of course it's timed, though. Whatever, I'll, I got this. Silence. Fuck door ticket. How am I supposed to go fast enough? Unless, hold up. Never mind. I think I figured this out. I need to use the key on this. That'll be the shortcut. Never mind. I'm just dumb. I overthought it. I overthought it. I just gotta go use the key in here. Hit this, and now it's like instantly right there. And then we can get to the roof. The roof. Okay, I'm just gonna do this again, because... Yeah, I don't like the re-deads, how they can, uh, freeze you through the floor. But, I mean, whatever, it's like the most minimal complaint of all time. Nice! I spawned in the fire? How is this gonna work? Oh, it just shoots me out. <laughs> On days like today, kids like you should be burning in hell. Hey, there it is, Chet. There's the Undertale reference for the Sunday stream. Oh, dear lord. Something fucking spooky going on. Oh, what is it? Well, oh, a fucking floor master, dude? How am I supposed to get in there? Fight him? He's in prison? Dude, chat, what did he do? What did he do to go to jail for? Let's let him out. Let's let him out of prison. That'd be funny. Yeah! <laughs> We're just letting this crazy man. Could you imagine that's like Jevil in there? Like, uh, you just see a crazy guy, like, let me kill you, let me kill you. You just open up the cell. Let's play, buddy. That's like when I took this criminal justice class. Because a lot of you guys probably don't know this, but I was a criminal justice major. And I had this really rowdy teacher who was like. He was like, uh, oh my motherfucker. Um, he was like super rowdy all the time. Um, he used to be like all kinds of crazy agent and he did all this shit. And he'd always talk about like, you know, self-defense and like how if somebody breaks in, like what it would take for you to like kill them. And he was talking about like if somebody's trying to break into your house, like, and they break in and you kill them to like just make sure that you fuck off. There's so many hands um, that make sure you tell them. Uh, that you felt like your life was in danger as long as you tell like the officers that you feel like your life was in danger You'll be okay um, But he said like oh My game fucking crashed because I died. It's okay though cuz I've been saving I was saving pretty regularly, so we should be all right um, But uh 
he was like, somebody was like, oh, well, what if someone's trying to get in and you open the door and shoot him? He's like, well, if someone's trying to, if someone's crazy and trying to bust in, don't let him in just to kill the guy. I was like, that's a little extreme. Like, I just imagine, like, there's a crazy guy out the window, like, who's foaming at the mouth, and you open up your door just to blast his ass. Alright. Um, how much of this progress got saved? Let's find out. I think all of it, pretty much. Because all those doors are locked. So that's what he meant. Because he said save regularly, and I thought he was talking about save stating, but I guess save stating probably destroys the game. So we gotta just do this normally. Alright, now I gotta be ready for these handy dandies to come out of the prison cell. This is actually hard on a three heart challenge. Maybe I should have talked to that guy and got the heart piece, because this shit. Wait a second. I'm dumb. I literally cheesed it and then decided to do it the hard way. What am I doing? Oh, fuck. I was gonna cheese it. Oh, dude, I was gonna cheese it and kill them behind the cell? Because I did that. I was just gonna shoot them through the, the bars and kill them, but now it's saved that the prison door is already open, so I gotta fight them legitimately. Alright, there's two of them. Is that two? Right assholes. No! You motherfucker! Oh, hell yeah, I'm doing good now. If you don't kill them in time, they grow into just a big boy. So you gotta kill them when they're kids so they don't get into adulthood and give you a rough time. That's what I thought, asshole. I tried to do a spin attack when they bust into three. And there we go, look at that, see? Perfect. If you know what you're doing, you can make mincemeat of these guys. Yeah, just like real life. That's what Anakin did, right? Isn't that why he killed all the women and the kids and shit? They're just gonna grow into like adult sand people. I don't understand. Like, one guy kidnapped Anakin's mom, so he decided just to like genocide their entire race. And like, he, that, I, well, I guess he's the villain. So you were supposed to see that he was like not. He was like really fucked up. But like, that is like the most racist shit I ever heard of in my life. Um. Did anybody see where that treasure chest spawned? Is this it up here? When we killed the, uh... Oh, here it is. I'm dumb. Everything's just really... No. Yeah, okay. Everything's just really dark on my screen. And then it was the heart piece. Never mind. Everything's just super, super dark. A key on the balcony. So, here's the question, chat. Should we open up that stupid... Oh, what is this? Did that spawn something out here? What happened? What, what did that do, chat? What did that eye... What did hitting that eyeball do? Oh, it made my game fucking crash. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? Link was like staring at some shit and then the game was like... <clears throat> did I save? I don't know if I did. Here comes the fucking screamos. They actually didn't catch me. Damn. Alright. It didn't save me getting the key, so I want to come back. The game wanted to be a big shot. I don't know what that would have done. Uh, we could use that key on the downstairs area, but we already know it just leads to an empty room with another key, so I'm going to hope to God that it lets us get into the shed, but I'm scared to hit that, hit this switch. Like, what does this switch do? I don't fucking know. Maybe 
Maybe I should hit it, maybe I shouldn't. I have no idea. So, I don't know what's happening when it does that. I don't know. I have no clue. Can Link get on the roof? Oh my god, he can. Yo. Yo! Yo! That's what- Oh, that's so good! That's what it did! I did not think Link would be able to walk in a slope like this. Yo, what's up, Pop? Welcome to Sunday Stream. This is Link Goes to Big Boo's Haunt. This is nuts. Link is literally in Big Boo's Haunt from Mario 64, and it's a full-ass dungeon. Um, that's where the star spawns in Mario 64, and that- There's another chest there. What is this gonna be? Probably another heart piece, I'm guessing, right? What the fuck is- what do we need this for? What? Hover boots? I did not expect that. Well, now what? Hover boots, my guy? The menu is a little laggy, but that's alright. What in the fuck? Anything else up here? I want to try going into the shed. I'm going to save here. I'm going to save. I'm going to try going into the shed, and hopefully it doesn't crash. We have a key, right? We got that key that was on the balcony. But, uh, I just hope that it doesn't crash the game. Hey, it didn't crash! So, we just happened to accidentally sequence break. We just happened to accidentally sequence break. That's what happened. That's why the game crashed, because we weren't supposed to be there yet. We were not supposed to be there yet, but now we are. So let's fucking do. Alright, we're about to get to Dally's favorite part. The, uh, the merry-go-round. Where you little shit. I wonder if they're going to have that song in the ocarina sound font. No fall damage? Wait, why are you guys screaming my name? I don't have the Zora tunic? Well, let's see. I might not need it because Link can Link can actually breathe underwater by himself for a short amount of time. I, did you know that people can actually, you can actually beat the water temple without the Zora tunic? It's hard as shit, but you can. If I, if I need it, I'll leave and then uh, get it. But let's just see, let's just see how far we can go without it. Really? I did not know that. Kapora, that's cool. The music box from Majora, that would be cool. Whoa, there's another Deku screw up. Come here, little bastard. <gasps> no! What? How are we missing a key? No. What? How are we missing a key? No, I have no idea where it would be. Shit. Fuck. Now I'm lost. And I don't know if I have any way to get back up. Thought of everything. They thought of everything. Well, hold them for a second. Any of you geniuses have any idea on where where I would need to go? No, uh, Reb, this isn't the. Well, I guess it is the stair texture, but it's cool because in Mario 64, it's an elevator. And it's like where the elevator would go down, but instead Link can climb up the elevator shaft. It looked, it's, it is the stair texture, but it's obviously supposed to be a ladder. Damn it. Okay, we need one more key now, and I have no idea where we haven't gone, so I'm a little bit lost. Wait a second, maybe they didn't think of everything, because how the fuck do I get off the ladder to uh, step on the higher, uh, normal ground? Maybe I gave this guy too much credit because this should, this isn't actually going to make any fucking sense. <laughs> wait, wait a second here. Yeah, wait, I can't fucking jump off. Do 
we have like a... Oh, there is a way to get out of this, I think. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Well, I did think of this. So if you get stuck, uh, you do have this, so... It's not like you're soft locked. Well, here you guys go, I can get the Zora tunic now. That way, I don't have to make another trip. Is it like later at in the evening now? It was not this time of day last time we were here. Whatever. Let's get the Zora tunic anyways. That's cool. It's probably for the best. We would have probably needed the Zora tunic at some point. There, he may have done like an underwater puzzle or something. So, it's better that I have it. This is probably one of the better Sunday stream games we've ever played, actually. This is actually just legitimately fun and good now. Until we spend the next 14 hours running around looking for where the absolute piss, the uh, missing key could be. But then after, well, don't worry, guys. After this is DS Madness. After this is DS Madness, so uh, we're going to get a big old pile of shit. Uh, but I need your guys' help. Where would this key be? It just sucks that it's so damn dark I can barely freaking see him. Is it, would it be outside? There's got to be something that we can do with the hover boots that we couldn't do before. It's got to be connected to the hover boots. The only idea I have is that room with the, um, I'm not going in there. That's where the game, like, went to shit, so no, no, no. Um, that room with the, uh, ladder, or the, the bridge. I don't know why I can't talk to me. Yeah, probably, uh, that brings up a good point, though. The L is real texture was identical from Mario 64 to Ocarina of Time. It was the exact same texture. They used it, obviously, in the star thing for Mario 64, and then in Ocarina of Time, they used it in Dodongo's Cavern, which is cool. Okay, well, that crashed my shit, so... Maybe I'm not supposed to go there. All right. Well, it's a little sus. Things are not working too well here. It's really cool when it works, but it's very uh, confusing when it doesn't. Whatever, we have the hover boots now. Do we still have the hover boots, I hope to God? Please tell me. Okay, we do, okay. I can still test out what I wanted to test out. Is there anywhere in this area we can go? No, that, I don't, nothing that I see, dude. That's... I'm so confused. We're missing a key. Yeah, but we don't have the Lens of Truth, so I don't think that they would do that, because then they would just make you, like, wander around like an asshole, bumping in every wall. Hmm. We checked that, and there was just the, the, uh, the scrub. Maybe... Okay. And my shield is... <gasps> is my shield just permanently gone now because of that shit? Okay, no, he's still alive. Okay, I, he's got to not suicide, though. Oh, fuck you! Oh my god, he kills himself too quick. Oh, fucking god. He sucked my shield and then fucking fell off the face of the earth. That was like the worst thing that could have happened to anybody. And here comes the game crash, because we're dead, so. Wait, did the game not crash this time? I shouldn't have probably saved. Yeah, okay. Now the game crashed. Cool. Sick, dude. I don't know where this last key is, chat. 
I don't know. I can't. I don't really want to play for like a thousand hours trying to figure this out, but I am curious enough. I wonder if the game. I shouldn't have saved. Why did I save? Because now I have no shield, right? Am I that fucking dumb? Well, looks like I have no shield forever. That's awesome. Gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I'm so dumb. I'm so fucking dumb. Why did I save? Oh my god. I wonder if he's still here. Like, don't, don't suicide. Stay for the bits. Dude, he's, he's like, he kills himself so quick. I can't even like think. There's nothing I can do. How fucking whack. I've done a You Laugh, You Lose stream before. It's just been a really long time. It's just been really I just want to know if he has my shield still. That's all I really care about. Holy fuck, dude, this guy. Why would there be a new shield in the hand room? That's the most random thing I've ever heard. I can't believe. I can't fucking believe this, dude. How does like the most specifically dumb fucking shit happen all the time? It's so specific. What the fuck? I already got the treasure chest though. There's just a heart piece in there. Stay still. Fuck you. Yeah. I liked the part where we made progress and then... Was there somewhere upstairs we hadn't been? I feel like there was. Hold up. Stay the fuck still. God damn it! I just want to see if he has my fucking shield, dude. Because what if there's a part where there's like a Deku scrub and I can't do anything? I could, but then he like doesn't fucking... He just... He kills himself too fast. He kills himself so quick I can't do anything about it. Maybe I should like... I can't enter from the other fucking room. There's nothing I can do, guys. I'm just fucked. That's the dumbest shit of all time. I'm just trying to think about this somewhat logically. Why would the game have given us hover boots? Fuck, dude. There's still, like, locked shit, though. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I feel like we had to have fucked up something. Maybe we weren't supposed to go into the, the shed yet or something. I have no idea. I, I don't know. I feel like we did everything right, but we, see we got stuck. Because why is there still... There shouldn't still be locked doors, would be my thought process behind this. God, fuck it. Did I ever try killing all the enemies in this room or something? I do not know, chat. I wish I could tell you. Um, I could, I could look up something, but it's cool. It's just very eye strainingly dark for me. Maybe it's not that way for you guys. Maybe it's because I got a big lighting equipment blasting in my eye sockets. But something weird is definitely going on, though. You can see it decently. It's so fucking dark, like, I can only see, like, Link and, like, some of the other shit. Well, it's just impossible to kill him. I just want to know where to go, dude. We were, we were just about to get to the really cool place, and then, like, I love the merry-go-round area. It, I, there's just no way you can kill him. I can't think of any possible way that 
I could actually kill this guy. In time. Why would they do this? Okay, wait, wait a second. I might have a, I might have hope here. I might actually have fucking hope. Holy shit! Did he give me my shield? No, just a fucking rupee. While well, our shield's gone forever, confirmed. Yeah, that's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. This fucking lame ass fucking thing. Does it give it like back in the menu, maybe? disappeared dude I uh I'm lost I don't know chat and then this crashes again all right well hold up here let me just I just want to see if I can find like a video of this or something I just want to make sure that uh, I just didn't do something wrong. I can't even find any videos of anybody playing this shit. <laughs> okay. This is not even... Okay. Well, I don't know. I have no clue. Well, it was fun for a bit. Yeah, I can't find any videos of somebody actually playing this shit. I don't know, I was just watching a YouTube video off stream. That was not even what I found correctly. I'll try one more thing. I'll try one more thing. I was just looking for like a full playthrough to see like it like where there would be another key or if we fucked up. I just don't understand why there's still locked doors in this room. You, you guys understand what I'm saying? Or like why the fuck do they give us hover boots? For what purpose are the ho like do the hover boots serve or this or that? You know what I mean? There's just a couple things that confuse me about this. And I don't know if I like... See what I mean? Like I, I get soft locked. Like it's like, did I soft lock myself? Or did this like... How come that door sometimes crashes the game and sometimes doesn't crash the game? It's very uh, confusing. Um, what does this one also? Uh, but before we switch, there's actually something interesting that I wanted to dive into this game as well. Uh, but let's just go through the rooftop. Riddle me this one. I don't understand why the fuck this is. But we, if we exit from the rooftop, um, I dude, I can't stand these guys. Uh, if we exit from the rooftop, the game lets us go into the shack. I, I can't really tell you why the fuck that is, but it does. It is a little bit frustrating. The most frustrating part is dealing with these guys that just fucking freeze link constantly like double freezing i feel like they take way more hits than i remember them taking all right fucking hell dude my arrows don't do fucking shit okay. i just want to see if if killing all the enemies in this room gives you another key that is one thing i didn't try as if all if killing all the enemies gives you another key. If he ever wants to come out of the wall, that would be pretty cool too. If you kill the re-deads, as soon as you leave a room and come back in, they'll be back. So if I leave this room and come back in, they'll just be back alive again, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, the only Kirby game. The only two Kirby games I've ever played that I really liked uh, were Crystal Shards, which I love, and um, uh, Air Ride, which I also love. Right. 
you guys see anything, because apparently my vision is really bad compared to yours, you guys see anything that's like hook shotable or something I can do with the hover boots or something? Let me know. I already did that. I already did the switch, so don't say the switch. I'm just curious what that other locked door would have led to. I could try something else, though, chat. I could just put in a cheat that gives you unlimited keys. I don't know if that would work for this mod. Uh, just because I, I'm just so curious. I, like, I don't know where I would have passed up a key. Is there a chest in there? It was just pots. Okay. I see absolutely nothing. Is there a treasure chest on top of that house? Can I hover boot to that? Hello? Lightning flash, I can't see. I don't see jack shit on that house. I already shot the eye closed. Alright, well. Alright, well, that wasn't crashing before. I don't know what happened. But, hey, you know what? It's alright. We'll just move on. Um, obviously, it's not the most stable thing. It was still really cool. Very cool concept. It was very exciting. I honestly can't tell you how I got in that house before. I, I don't know. It won't let me in that house anymore. Um, I don't know if we did something wrong or what happened with that. I could just, let me just start reloading one, one last thing. And then just going right to that shack. Um, but there is some interesting stuff before we move on. Uh, and I don't know if it was like intentional. But in the readme file, other than the fact that it was like going to crash, they did say to start. To like, if you play this, start with um, files two or three. So I didn't know when I started with file one, and something interesting happens when you um, start with file one. Now I'm gonna look into that. Okay, this works now. Fine. I'm just so confused as to like. I, okay. You son of a bitch. Let me just kill all the enemies in this room, and just see if this does anything. I really wish I still had my shield. What if killing all the enemies gives us a key? Hold on, I don't want to... I didn't try that yet. He's fucking dead. Good. Talk to his soul. How am I going to kill the Deku Scrubs? Oh, I, I have an arrow. It's going to be harder than shit, but alright. I'll kill this ghost. I'm so pissed I don't have my shield. And of course he goes into the wall. Bitch. Oh, I wish, man, I still had that shield, dude. You guys are gonna fucking kill me. Sure, little bastard. Hey, he actually gave me a heart. This guy's running around. Texture village. Where'd you go? Why they always go in the walls? There he is, coming out. Big boy, big boy. Alright. Nothing. Didn't get jack fucking shit. Well, I tried. You try to BLJ in the door. First things first, let me try uh, using a key thing. I don't know if that will work because this is not actually like a creative time, but also I don't even know what version this is. So who knows? I, this could take a lot of fucking work. Yeah. 
It might not be worth it, but I just wanted to see. Yeah, because it's different depending on it's whether it's version 1.1, 1.0, 1.2. I have no idea. So. I can't even find what I'm looking for. Well, it was uh, it was fun while it lasted, Chet. It was fun while it lasted. I don't know if what we did was our fault or if the game is glitched or, uh, but luckily we got a lot of shit to do tonight, so we'll be fine. We'll live. Um, but yeah, there's there's nothing I can do to get farther in this. I can't find anything about infinite keys, and it's just um, not really worth the headache in my opinion. So, we're just gonna ignore that. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, obviously some, it could use some fine tuning. Uh, I don't know if I'm just dumb or if like just legitimately, I, I just don't know why we can't open this door. Uh, I don't know why they gave us hover boots. Everything was fine up until we got the hover boots and then I just like, nothing started making sense anymore. So, yeah. But, let's reset this, because we got some interesting shit to check out. So, while uh, I was playing this, before the stream, I noticed something interesting about what happens if you hit, if you choose file one. Okay. So, doing file one, first off, it's weird that everything's unlocked, but look at this. This is interesting. It immediately takes you to a debug menu. And some of the stuff like the music and the character models are very weird. So I thought that before we switch on over to uh, DS Madness, you guys would, might be interested in seeing some of this really weird uh, stuff that was like left in the debug menu. So this is going to be a little bit of a, a glitch stream. And I'm kind of curious as to see what this is going to be all about. So uh, all I checked out was like Kakariko. So let's just do... <laughs> Uh, is Kokiri Forest in here? That's a good place to start. No, no, no Kokiri. Link's house. No! House Kakariko, there we go. Okay, so this is normal. Let's reset this again. I'm trying to find the one that I found. Uh, I'll try to just go to Hyrule Field. The music was really weird. That's what I wanted you guys to hear. And it's just some interesting stuff in the debug menu that I was not... I don't know which one I selected, though. Field. Oh, they're just number one. Okay. You hear this music? It's Dire Dire Docks from Mario 64. So, like, was that going to be used for something? But in, in Ocarina sound font. Very strange. It sounds really good, though. Very weird. But yeah, it's just strange that they would have Dire Dire Docks. Maybe that was like a an original planned thing? Another thing that was weird is... Uh, hold up. I don't know why it always goes to the cutscene, but whatever. There was one where you were in Saria's house, and she was, like, in there, and it was just really strange. But maybe I can't find any more. I do love this game, though. One day. One day I'll play it again. Yeah, I don't know how this works, so. The Gerudo Valley is awesome. It is a good song. I'll try one more. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame we couldn't see this to the end, but things definitely got weird, for sure. Things definitely got a little weird. That's what I should have checked. Yeah, Zora's Domain. 
Brr. Gandor's Tower, Potion Shop, Market, Back Alley, Link's House, House, Kakariko. This is what I was talking about, though, but it's fine. Saria's House, Stable, Dampy's Hut, Back Alley, Tent, Bazaar, Kokiri Shop, Deku Tree, Dodongo Cavern, Jabba Jabba's Belly, Fire Temple, Boss. This is still really cool, though. Is there a Bomb Tree Bowling Alley location? That's a good... Question? I'll check. Uh, just give me a second. Let me just see Zora's Domain really quick. Um, goddess Cutscene. Strong Box Warp. Bamboo Tests. Test Map. Hold up. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. This is actually dead-ass debug rooms in the game's files. Oh, wow. Okay, this is way more interesting. Okay, this is actually very interesting. I have actually never seen this. They had some... Whoa, things are getting trippy, though. Um, Ocarina of Time had a room similar to this in the game's files. Oh, this is like creepy pasta. I kind of don't like this. It's like unsettlingly weird. That's an unused Ocarina uh, thing. I knew about this in the game's files. This is an unused texture of like ocarina platforms but they later change them to have specific uh platforms it's hard to explain you know how in the game there's those these platforms that kind of look like this but they're more like circular and each of them have a different medallion depending on what location the game you're in originally that was not supposed to be the case there was supposed to be just a default ocarina one for all of them but later on in the game's development they decided to just use specific ones for like the light medallion fire medallion water medallion so it would be easier to know where you're warping to but originally it was going to be just this ocarina i'd never actually seen it like in game before but i've seen pictures of it no this is this is an actual room but the dire dire docks thing had to have been fan made because he already made that big booze haunt uh thing but anyways let's move on from this i could be here all day looking to ship it Let's, uh, some of these last ones are interesting. Alright. It just plays random cutscenes. Okay. Let's go all the way to the bottom, actually. Hey, look at You're right, though. There is a bomb chew bowling warp. We'll check that out at the end, of course. 33 is the bomb chew bowling warp. Uh, but let's keep going all the way down. All right. Proving area. Old test. Middle Stalfos room. What is a Hyrulean game 2? All right. Wow. These ones are interesting. Test map. Middle Stalfos room. Boss Stalfos room. Old test. Depth test. Hyrulean game 2. I want to see that. Whoa. There's a fuck ton of lag. This Whoa. This is a corruption. Oh shit, we, we doing corruptions now? Now it's Sunday stream. Now it's Sunday stream. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Now we're now I remember what day of the week it is. Holy shit, Link, you doing okay, buddy? He's seen better days. Holy shit. <laughs> He's got the long sword, dude. See if I can crash the game by putting like a fuck ton of bombs down. Um, we're looking in the in the the, the menu. They, we're just modding some shit, Reb. It's fucked up. We couldn't figure out what to do. We lost keys. I I don't know. If I can figure it out, we'll play it another time. But I couldn't figure out. It was cool, still cool. I don't regret playing it. I think we crashed the game. Nope. It's he's still going. There you go. I gotta. This will make it perfect. There we go. 
I can't even fucking move anymore. <laughs> Come on, Link, you can do it, buddy! One frame an hour, let's go! Do actual corruptions? I've done Ocarina of Time corruptions before. It's just been probably two years. Well, that's how Link goes to Big Boo's Haunt ends. Not with a bang, but with a kazoo-filled uh, whimper. So, it's a, see, this is the thing. It's, it's as if we were having too much fun. We, this is it, chat. We were having too much fun, so Sunday stream wanted to remind us that, nope, Sunday's not for good games. Sunday is for dog shit garbage. So, of course, it, it ended that way. It's, it's only the natural order of things. If it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, whatever other day we stream, we would have seen the ending. But no, not, not, uh, not this time. So, uh, yeah.